homeless people living in tents in park lands across the U.S. Capitol. It's a site that federal authorities want gradually gone by the end of this year. McPherson Square is on the list of sites where a no camping regulation will be enforced. The National Park Service told VOA in a statement that closing this encampment, which is just a few blocks from the White House, will allow the authorities to ensure the safety of the general public and of those living here. Alisa Griffin, who works in D.C., looks forward to having a neat park back. At the same time, at the expense of relocating people that don't have anywhere to go, um, I don't see that as a solution either. The Office of Washington's Deputy Mayor for Health and Human Services says it's connecting those experiencing homelessness with services based on their needs and eligibility for housing services. Daniel Kingery, who moved to McPherson Square from another park in 2020, says clearing encampments is a flawed strategy, and many dwellers will just switch locations. It's a cycle that the government keeps going to make it look like they're doing something. They'll clear this area while they scatter the population. Then they'll go to another one. Last year, the U.S. government calculated nearly 600,000 people were experiencing homelessness across the nation. Kelly Andre, who heads Georgetown Ministry Center, says a permanent fix demands a holistic approach. To support individuals with their mental health, with their substance use disorders, or with their employment and employability within the community. We first met A. Addison back in 2020 when he was experiencing homelessness. After deciding to seek help, he now has his own apartment and is employed. I look at it from a perspective of having empathy and compassion and being able to lend a helping hand to individuals who are homeless and being able to lead them towards the right resources. Boosting affordable housing, coupled with providing health care, job training and legal assistance are among the strategies the Biden administration is betting on to reduce homelessness by 25 percent over the next two years. Washington's mayor has pledged to end homelessness in the district by 2025. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News, Washington.